All right. I just watched the MSD uh, 6A video that MSD puts out, and um, the guy misspoke in that video, actually. You want to have your uh, ignition on when you go to test for your spark, and I will go through this so you don't have to find that stupid video. But anyway, you want to take your coil wire off the top of your coil, and this is with the MSD distributor, MSD coil, which it won't matter what coil you have. And uh, this is the 6A box, but 6A and 6L are basically the same boxes. And a lot of these are wired the same anyway. So this video will work for several different boxes. Um, I've got my screwdriver right there ready to arc onto something just in case I am getting spark through this, which I died at a stoplight, so I am obviously not getting spark, and I've already checked for fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you'll have to excuse my terrible video handling here, um, I'm going to take my green and purple wire, and the guy in the video said, oh, use a paper clip. Well, that works great, but guess what? I'm in the middle of a parking lot and just got towed off one of the busiest intersections in Omaha, Nebraska. So the best I could find was a piece of metal that I cut off of a yard flag. So if you got a yard around here where you can steal a flag from and cut a little piece off, that works great too. So bend that thing up just like so, if I can get my shadow out of the way, just like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to, see if I can get that on the camera here, there we go, just connect the green and the purple wires together inside there. And what that's going to do is if the 6A box is working properly, you will see an arc that will go from your screwdriver onto a ground. Um, so once again, we're going to go ahead and get the ignition turned on, not off, like Silver said in his video. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got my, got my trusty partner here. He's, uh, He's telling me how to do it too. He's got it all figured out. He's got it figured out. Don't buy MSD, buy, buy something else. All right, so I got my ignition turned on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna set this. I don't know. Well, this is hard enough with one hand. Jeez. I'm gonna set it right there. Hopefully that'll pick up some video here. All right, I'm gonna reshoot just a little bit of this so you guys can see what's going on here. You can see the little flash behind there. That's that's where that's arcing. I got to be kind of quick. My phone has hardly any juice left. But anyhow, um, that's where it's arcing. It's not arcing on the screwdriver like it should be. Got everything put back together uh, with the ignition, not with my dash. But uh, anyway, got it all put back together. I'm going to go ahead and turn the key and uh, I got spark. So that's. Uh, you know, a good way to get it fixed, um, especially when you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere. There's no way to jump the distributor wire or the distributor directly to the coil on this setup, so that kind of stinks. You're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Um, but anyway, I hope this video helps. Subscribe. I got a lot of auto videos that I'm going to be doing, and uh, hopefully some of this will be helpful to you guys. Thanks. Have a good day.